and then as I have said already bots, bros authors, historians, astronomers and the ones who introduced the other kinds of error men's opinion giddy and confused by accustoming their minds by adding number of bad cases and arguments and this first mistake and misfortune of doctrine the inventions the invention of idols came into being everything was divided into hellenism and judaism however it was not called judaism yet but until five persons have been had been born in in succession it had the ancestral name of the two religion to israel for Nahson, who was born in the wilderness as head of the tribe of judah was the father of salmon salmon was the father of Boaz, who was of obed obed of jesse while the godly were still being called israel israelites jesse was the father of king david the first of the the first of the tribe judah to reign as king from him there then arose the successive kings of the of his line one of one after another with sons succeeding father the actual first king in israel before david himself was Saul, the son of kish the tribe of benjamin but he was rejected and no son succeeded him his kingship passed to david and to david the first to the tribe of judah for as first child reuben was born to jacob himself as a second simeon and, and as, the, as a third levi as a fourth judah and thus they are called jews because of the tribe of judah while the name with the name of the godly people changed in this in this way hence they were called both israel israelites and jews the four breeds on earth follow each other in succession until this time with these four divisions and distinguished from the earliest times until this one i have mentioned here and beyond this is that is from adam until noah barbarism from noah until the tower and until zero to generations to generations after the tower the skitian superstition after that from the tower zero and terra until abraham hellenism from abraham on the two religion who is associated with, it, with this name with the same abraham judaism name for his, for his lineal descendant judah god spirit inspired holy apostle paul bears me out in this with some such words as with some such words as in christ jesus there is neither barbarism skitian helen nor jew but a new creation for at first when creation had been made it was new and had not been given any different name and again paul says in agreement with this in another passage i am debtor both to hellenists and to the barbaris barbarians both to the wise and to unwise meaning the jews by wise but the Scythians by unwise and he says i am debtor meaning that salvation is the east of the jews and so the entire nation of israel were called jews from the time of David and all Israel continued to be called by their ancestral name of Israelites and to have the additional designation Jews from the time of David of his Solomon of his son Solomon and of Solomon's son I mean Rehoboam who ruled in Jerusalem after Solomon but to but to keep forgetting sidetracked by placing the topic of Jewish religion and failing to touch on the subject of their beliefs, I shall give a few examples of the type of them. For the facts about the Jews are, as we might say, perfectly plain to everyone. Hence, I shall certainly not to take the trouble to deal with this subject 
in great deal but I must still give a few example here now Jews who are who are Abraham's lineal descendants and the heirs of his religion to of, and the heirs of two religion have Abraham's circumcision have Abraham's circumcision which he received by God's command at the age of 99 for the reason I have given earlier it was so that his descendants would not repudiate the name of God on becoming strangers in a foreign land in a foreign land but food but would bear a mark on their bodies instead to remark and convict them and keep and keep them true to their father's religion and Abraham and Abraham's sons and Abraham's son Isaac were circumcised on the eighth day on the eighth day as God commanded as God's commandment had directed it's a knowledge that circumcision was by God's ordinance then by then it had been ordained as a type I shall prove this of the, I shall prove this of it later as we, as we go on in order so Abraham's own children in succession I mean beginning with himself and Isaac and Jacob next and Jacob's children after him continued to be circumcised and adhered to the to the to the religion in the land of Canaan called Judea in Philistia then through his name is North Palestine and in Egypt as well. For Jacob or Israel went down to Egypt with his eleven with his eleven son, eleven children in the hundred of and thirty year thirty year of his life. Joseph, his other son, was already in Egypt reign as, reigning as king. Too, he had been sold by his brothers from, en from envy. God's provision, which serves the which serves the great well, had turned their plot against this Joseph into a wonder. So Jacob went down to Egypt as I said, as I said, and his sons, wives, and grandchildren. To the number of seventy-five persons, seventy-five persons, as the first book of Moses by Pentateuch, which clearly explains all this, tell us, and re and they remained there and they remained there for five generations, as I have said often enough, but must I not, but must not repeat repeat, but Jacob's posterity were the generations, which are reckoned to Levi the ancestor of, this, of the priest, and the ones which are reckoned to Judah, from whom in time came David, the first king. And Levi was the father of Kohat, and the others. Kohat was the father of Amram, Amram was the father of Moses, and of Aaron, the high priest. Moses brought the children of Israel out of Egypt by the power of God, as the second book in this in the leg legislation says. Still, it is obviously impossible to say distinctly what the regiment of the children of Israel was until this time, other than simply that they had the true religion and circumcision. Though scripture does say the children of Israel multiplied in the land of Egypt and became abandoned. It must surely have been due to laxity that the period of their sojourn and intercourse with Gentiles produced, uh, produced this abundance. But it had not yet been but it had not yet been indicated with full clarity what they should eat, what they should forbid, or the other things they were commanded to observe by the law's injunction. However, when they were departing from Egypt in the second year of the Exodus, they were forced to God's legislation at the hands of Moses himself. The legislation God gave them taught them like, like, like taught them like a pedagogue. Indeed, of the laws was like the, a pedagogue in giving. It, in giving its precepts physically, but 
with spiritual hope. It taught them circumcision, Sabbath observance, the the teaching of all the of all the produce of any human or animal of spring which was born among them. The presentation of first fruits, but on the fifteenth and on the thirtieth year, thirty days, and to know God alone and serve Him, His name then was proclaimed under its aspect of monarchy, but the but the Trinity was always proclaimed in the monarchy and was believed in by the foremost of them, that is the prophets and Nazarites. In the wilderness Israel offered sacrifices in various kinds of worship and to all sovereign God in the service of the holy tabernacle which Moses has constructed from patterns God had shown, in, had shown him. Thus, this, this same Jews received prophetic, prophetic oracles too, concerning the Christ to come. He was called prophet, though he was, called, he was God, an angel, though he was the son of God, but would become man and be reckoned with his brethren. So, say all the sacred scriptures, especially Deuteronomy, the fifth, book, the fifth book in the legislation, and the ones that follow it. By the time of the captives returned from Babylon, these Jews had gotten the, the following books and prophets, and the following books of the prophets, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, the book of Joshua the son of Nun, the book of the judges, Ruth, Job, Salt, the Psalter, the Proverbs, the Proverbs of Solomon, Ecclesiastes, the Song of Songs, the first book of kingdoms, the second book of kingdoms, the third book of kingdoms, the fourth book of kingdoms, the first book of Chronicles, the second book of Chronicles, the book of the twelve prophets, the book of the prophet Isaiah, the prophet Jeremiah, with lamentations, and the epistle of Jeremiah and Baruch, the prophet of Ezekiel, the prophet of Daniel, one Ezra, two Ezra, Esther. These are the seven, the seven to the twenty-seven books given by the Jews by God. They are counted as twenty-two. However, like the letters of the Hebrew le Hebrew al alphabet because ten books are doubled and recount as five. But as but I have explained this clearly as well. And they have and they have two more books of these woods canonic canonicity, the wisdom of Sirach and the wisdom of Solomon, apart from certain another ap apocrypha. All these sacred books taught Judaism and laws of servants until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Jews would have been all right under the law tutelage if they had accepted the Christ, whom the whom the pedagogue, I I mean the law, I mean the law foretold and prophesied to them so as to learn, not of the law's destruction, but of its fulfilment, by accepting Christ's divinity and incarnation. For these types were in the law, but the truth is. In the gospel, the law, the law provides for physical circumcision. This serves for a time until the great circumcision, baptism, which cuts us, which cuts us off from our sins, and has sealed us in the in God's name. The law had a sub, the law had a Sabbath to keep us for the great Sabbath, the rest of Christ so that in Christ we might enjoy a separate rest for, from sins. And in the law and in the law a lamb, a dumb animal, was sacrificed was sacrificed to guide us to the great heavenly lamb slain for us and for the whole world. And the law ensued and the law ensued teaching to keep us for, from overlooking the Yota it the ten, the initial letter of the name of Jesus. Now, since the Jews 
were guarded by the type and did not reach the fulfillment which is proclaimed by the law, by the, law, by the prophets and others and, and by every book in scripture. They were put off the state and the Gentiles came on since, since Jews can no longer be saved unless they, re, unless they return to the grace of the, of the gospel. For every ordinance has been inviolated by them, as each text says, in every scripture, but briefly, with one text, I shall state this the, the, in, the inevitably and, al, and unalteratably of the declaration against them. The sentence is plain to see as scripture says, whatsoever soul will not hearken unto unto the prophet shall be cut off from his tribe and from Israel and from under the heavens. In other, in other words, the Lord is to give a final saving confirmation of the truths he had imparted mystically to the law and the person who does not listen to him and refuses to cannot be saved even though he keeps the law, for the law cannot, perf cannot perfect the man. Since the ordinances in it have, since the ordinances in it have been written physically, and the real fulfillment is in Christ. So much for Judaism. I did I did mention for a, a, a few points, so as not to omit all the facts about them, but to give them in part for the subject of the Jews, and the refutation of them is known beforehand. As we make say, as we make say, the one. I also explain the origin, how they had their beginning. At first, the godly people were named Abrahamians after the patri Abraham's godly godly self because they were his descendants. But Israelites, after his grandson, I meant Jacob or Israel. But all the twelve tribes were called both Jews and, Israel and Israelites from the time of David, the king from the tribe of Judah, and until David's son Solomon, and Rehoboam, who was Solomon's son, but David's grandson. But David's grandson. And because of God's justice, justice men and Rehoboam's unworthiness, the twelve tribes were divided and became two, and a half with Judah, that is, with Rehoboam, and nine and a half with Jeroboam. The nine and a half were called both, Israel's, both Israelites and Israel, and were ruled by Jeroboam, the son of Nebat in Samaria. But the two and a half at Jerusalem were called Jews, and were ruled by Solomon's son, Jeroboam. And in turn, there was a succession of, of kings. Rehoboam was the father of Abijah. Abia of Asa, Asa of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat of Jehoram, of Jehoram of Ahaziah, Ahaziah of Joas, Joas of Amaziah, Amaziah of Azariah, Azariah of Uziah, Az Azariah of Uziah, of Jotam, Jotam of Ahaz, Ahaz of Hezekiah. At the time of Hezekiah and Ahaz, tribe from Israel were taken as captives to the mountains of Media. After this, Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh was the father of Ammon, Ammon of Josiah. Josiah was the father of Jeconia of Salum, also called Amasia. This Jeconia was the father of the Jeconia who is known as Zedekiah and Jehoiakim, and no reader need have any doubt about them. Rather, he should admire to the full discussion which had fully been set down here for good people, who, for the sake of useful learning, would like to understand the precise sense of scripture. Simultaneously, with the help, they must feel relief at once, and having again the wording which, because, because of an ambiguity, the certain ignorant persons have removed from the text, from the text with the intent 
of improving it. For Saint Matthew enumerated the generations of Christ's genealogy in three divisions and said that there were 14 generations from Abraham till David, 14, for, 14 from David till the captivity and 14 from the captivity until Christ. The first two counts are plain to be seen with no lack of an item for they include the times previous to Jeconia. But we see that the third count no longer has the total of 14 generations for its succession of names but the total of the th but the total of 13 this is because certain persons found a jeconia next to another jeconia and thought that the item had been duplicated it was not a duplication however but it but a distinct item the son had been named Jeconia, the son of Jeconia, for his father. But removing the one, the one name, as taught for scholarship's sake, certain persons ignorantly made the promise, which is implied in the next, comes short of its purpose with regard to the total of the fourteen names, and destroyed the regularity of the arrangements of the arrangement. So the Babylonian captivity began then from the time of Chikunia. During this time of the captivity, the elders approached Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon and begged that some of his own subjects be sent to Israel as settlers, as settlers to keep the country from becoming an uninhabited wasteland. He accepted their appeal. He did not put them off and sent for groups of his own people called Kuteans, Kudeans. Sephagurians and Anagogarians. They then migrated to Samaria with their idols and settled it, choosing this land because of its richness and very great fertility. But in time, because they kept being mauled by the wild beasts, lions, leopards, bears, and other predators, they sent to Babylon as king with extreme astonishment what sort of life the former settlers have lived to be able to stand the rapine and violence the peace. The king sent for them the elders and asked how them and asked how they had conducted themselves, they held Judea, and how they had escaped the rapine of the beast, since there were so many onslaughts and maimings by animals in the in that country. They told him of God's legislation and wisely and wisely pointed out to him the conclusion of reasonable judgment must draw. But saying that no nation could settle there unless it kept the law of God, the law of the God of heaven, given to given to Moses, for God is the protector of the land, and will not have the sins of idolatry and the rest committed in it by gentle nations. The king paid attention, was convinced, one convinced by his informants entirely to explanation and demanded a copy of the law. They gave him one without the move and with the law also sent from Babylon Ezra, a priest, a teacher of the law, to teach the law of Moses and as to the Syrians who had settled in Samaria, the Kutayans and the others. This happened in about uh, in about the thirteen year of the captivity of Israel and Jerusalem. So Ezra and his successors taught the nation in Samaria and those who had, who had received the law to Ezra who came from Babylon were called Samaritans. Another forty years went by and the captivity was revoked and Israel returned from Babylon. It is an amazing coincidence that to correspond to correspond with the four nations, four sects, have also have also arisen in the very nation I meant first, the, the sect of Essenes, second of Corotenes, third Sebuians, and fourth of Docetians. Here I can begin my treatment of the subject of sectarianism and shall briefly explain how it arose. How else? but in the same way in which 
tribes also tribe arose from the proliferation of the different languages, various nations, and made to correspond with each tribe and clan. Every nation chose in chose its own king to head to head it, and the result was the outbreak of wars and conflicts between clashing nations for each used force to get its own way and for the insatiable greed which is now which is common to us all to appropriate in its neighbor's property so too as time at this time we have been discussing since there have been a change in israel's one day religion and the scripture of the law had been transferred to the to other nations i mean the assyrians the chester of colonial samaritans the division of israel opinion also resulted and then and then error arose and this god began to sow seed from the one true religion in many counterfeit beliefs as each individual thought best and thought that he was proficient in the letter of scripture and could expound it to suit himself 